How much adventure can you pack into three days? This October, Jay's parents and brother joined us to find out on a trip we're calling the Ice Loop. In this first episode, we drive up the beautiful North Thompson Valley to Valemont, then east into Jasper National Park, where we camped with elk, climbed an 8,000-foot mountain with the help of a gondola, then drove to Moline Lake, where we saw moose, a woodpecker, an owl, a fox, and had a very close encounter with a large bull elk. <laughs> <laughs> it is wet and disgusting coming out of Hope, BC this morning. We are heading on what we're calling the Ice Loop. On this trip, we are going to Valmont, then to Jasper, then Banff, and then Radium Hot Springs. And new for this episode, we are traveling in a convoy with my parents and brother. Will that be interesting? Yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> We've got our radios again. I have something very surprising and shocking to tell you. Mel wants to stop for Bannock in Merritt. That is not surprising at all. <laughs> <laughs> With Mel's Bannock safely on board, we continued through Kamloops and up through the North Thompson Valley following the river. It was a long driving day, but we made it to Valmont by dinner time. This is my mum. Hi, everybody. We've arrived at our first destination. Valmont is in one of the most beautiful places. We were just enveloped in a circle of snow-capped mountains. What an amazing place. We're just pulling out of Valemont, heading towards Jasper. Mel's at the wheel again. We met up with our convoy and hit the road. All along the way, we saw lots of construction of the Trans Mountain Pipeline. As we got closer, the fog started to lift, revealing more beautiful snow-capped mountains. Excuse us, never mind us. We're just pulling in. <laughs> We've just arrived on our campsite at Jasper and wow, it's just beautiful. The lady at the info booth said you'll definitely see elk, so apparently they're around. But it's mating season, so we have to be careful not to get in between the males and the females. Yes, the bulls can get quite aggressive apparently if you get between him and the ladies. <laughs> After quickly setting up, we all carpooled downtown for a little walk to stretch our legs. We are at the Jasper Sky Tram and we are going to go up the mountain and have a look at all of the peaks. We all boarded the tram. Oh, did we mention? Jay's dad is pretty much terrified of heights. At the top, we could see Mount Robson, which is only visible on very clear days. We even managed to spot our trailer down below. We strapped on our micro spikes and set out for the peak. How are you finding the trail so far? So far, so good. I'll let you know later on when you see me hopping and puffing. It is such a wonderful view on top of a mountain. The spikes, best $10 that my daughter-in-law has ever spent. <laughs> How do you like the spikes? I couldn't, wouldn't do it without them. I would be sliding down the mountain. <laughs> Whew. Oh, it's hard work. We're getting close to the top though and my parents are just behind us. Yeah. 
my brother hit the summit like ages ago because yeah. he's like a very avid hiker. He's a mountain goat. So it's early October. There's snow up here. The trail is well packed down. So there are some slippery bits. And so we bought some little micro spikes. See? <laughs> at Costco uh, before leaving. And we are so glad we did. Uh, Jay's parents, you might have heard already, love them. We're also very glad to have them. We've seen a few people without them and they're just kind of sliding down the hill. So it's a really, really good idea to have some if you're coming here when there's snow up, up at the top. Makes it so I can walk backwards while filming Mel and not fall over. I'm almost to the top and it's gonna be so worth it when it's windy and a bit cold, but I'm pushing through because I can't wait to see this 360 view of mountains. We've almost got 360, we're so close, but wow. It just puts an instant smile on your face. It's a bit blustery at this point. You made it! We did it! <laughs> How do you feel? Aww. Marvelous. <laughs> it was Piece of cake. worth it. Piece of cake. Oh, amazing. <sighs> I've made it to the top, 360 mountains. Every one is a jagged snowy peak and it's incredible. It's so beautiful. And at the top, we've got a dial here that'll tell us what all the mountains are so you can identify them. There's a Nanookshuk started over here. The tram operator told us that nearby Maline Lake was the place to see wildlife. Sure enough, on the road up, we spotted two moose right beside the road. It's probably a mum with a yearling. Yeah, so the one closest to us is, a, is the mum. We had a nice walk around the lake and saw a woodpecker just before we left. It was getting towards dusk, so we headed back to the campground. As he was driving us all back, my eagle-eyed father spotted a small owl on top of a tree. And if you know what kind of owl this is, let us know in the comments. We continued back, stopping briefly at a small but deep canyon. And then we got a real treat. It's coming right towards us. Fox. It walked right by us and looked right at us. And if that wasn't amazing enough, check out what we saw just outside of the city. He's gonna come onto the road. <laughs> you guys better get back in the car. Look at him. <gasps> Here he comes. Yes, he's actually coming to the car. Windows up, windows up. Just a second. Oh, swing in. Yuri. 
I'm missing my, my bag. My family pack. You're, you'll have to get it in a minute because he's right beside you. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Doing all right? Apparently not. Let's I go. I feel like it's the last push to the top. Am I right? Close. Oh. <laughs> That was called a poor man's drone shot. We're at Malign Lake. I'm walking backwards, which maybe you should walk over there and you walk backwards and I'll walk forwards. And that wraps up part one of our ice loop series. Next week, come along as we spend an entire day exploring the Ice Fields Parkway between Jasper and Banff. Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.